Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at the kidney. Uh, remember, for this, you need to be able to both draw and annotate your kidney for your exams. Um, with this, it does get a little bit fiddly, um, so just remember to make sure you're keeping it really, really simple. You're using a pencil, so if you do make any mistakes, then you're able to erase them very easily. Um, okay, so to begin with, with your kidney, remember it is an oval shape, something like that, with an open concave side. Inside your kidney, you then have the pyramids, which go all of the way round, like that. They need to then all join up so that you form that renal pelvis in that concave section and it all joins up nicely. And then with your pyramids, make sure you add in some stripes. Okay. Then we need some tubes coming into and out of the kidney. So the first one is this one down the bottom here. And then actually for the blood vessels, I'm going to use two different colours. In yours, you do not need to do any kind of colour coding. This is just to make this quite obvious in this um, video. So we've got red for the artery and then blue for the vein. Okay, so that is then my general structure of a kidney. It's very, very simple. Um, in terms of labeling it, we'll start from the outside. So this section here, this is the cortex. And the section in from that here is the medulla. Now, if you were to dissect a kidney, the cortex would be a lighter color. And then in from that, this section here, the medulla, will be a slightly darker color. Actually, dissecting a kidney isn't the most exciting dissection. This is about as interesting as it would get. And um, within the cortex and the medulla, remember this is where we have the nephrons. And the medulla is made up of these pyramids called the renal pyramids. Okay, so in terms of the different tubes coming into and out of the kidney, this one here is the ureter. And that takes out the waste product that the kidney has created and then put into this section here, which is the renal pelvis. Now, there's a lot of renals going around. Renal means anything to do with the kidney. Then we've got our two blood vessels, um, this red one here is the renal artery and this blue one is the renal vein. Now some key things that you must remember when you're drawing the kidney. Um, your cortex needs to be about one-fifth of the width of your kidney. It shouldn't be going up to about half or even more of the width otherwise you won't get a mark for your cortex. Um, make sure that your pyramids are actually pyramid shaped. They shouldn't be circles and they shouldn't be squares. Um, your ureter needs to actually join up with your renal pelvis, so there needs to be that flow from one to the other. And then the last two bits are with your blood vessels. Your renal artery needs to be a smaller diameter than your renal vein. Okay, same as um, all other arteries and veins. The lumen of the artery is narrower than the lumen of the vein.